Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Subsistence. So this morning I'm just doing some busy work guys. I was doing a bit of watering the crops and eating and getting myself topped up, cooking a bit of water as well. And we still have our one lock pick guys. It's been a while since I've been in this game. I have started a new series of The Infected. If you like that game and you'd like to check that out, please um, consider doing that. Um, leave a like, comment, follow, all of that stuff. Um, it really helps out the channel. It helps get it out to a broader audience. And, you know, that definitely helps me be able to continue playing and producing content. Anyway, so today I'm not quite sure what's going on, guys. Like I mentioned, it's been a while. Um, I do see a crate over there I'm going to try to grab. There's a crate. I thought that was a locked crate down there, but that was just a piece of dirt. So we're going to attempt to do a bit of looting this morning. And then we are going to probably head back to the base and do something. I'm not quite sure exactly what yet. If we could find some lithium today, that would just be lovely. Unfortunately, we have not had the best luck with lithium. I probably should have grabbed that zinc. We're going to need it, guys. Um, I just don't quite know for sure um, when we're going to need it. And that was a wolf. And he did sniff me out. So, you know, there's that. But today I just want to do a really, really quick little looting trip. Just kind of over toward the location that we built in in the first season. And try to head back to the base and hopefully get some loot. And then we'll try to head down, maybe look for a locked crate kind of closer to the shoreline down there because you know there are locked crates down there and that's a good place to start looking for those but there's also a locked crate area over here as well and hopefully you know we can find one today i don't necessarily mind too much if we don't but the loot from a locked crate would be lovely to have especially if we can get enough loot from that to let's say craft another lock pick sometimes that is the case you can get enough material to be able to do that sometimes not always but occasionally um you will get enough iron and things to be able to try to craft another lock crate or lock pick sorry i probably said locked crate when i was meaning lock pick multiple times um so i hope you guys have had a wonderful wonderful weekend um actually last week as well because i didn't get a video out last week of subsistence we did the infected um a couple of days there was a video of copper on last monday i think a lot of you guys uh, mentioned that copper didn't really look like you expected him to um i even had someone say that they pictured a copper you know like a copper red or you know it's a really really vibrant color coat but not the color that he has which is mostly silver and black <laughs> or gray and black um I want to be able to do a kind of when I first got him video and show you guys what he looked like at that point versus what he looks like now. Um, you'll notice in those, um, I might even just try to include a couple of pictures at some point in some of the videos. I don't know if I, um, if I actually remember to do that. I don't know if I will remember to do that. But if you guys have been around the channel for a while and you've been watching a lot of the older content, especially the content from about this time last year, you might have seen a couple of his pictures posted then when I got him. Um, but if you want to check what it, check out what he looks like now and just see him kind of roaming around in the yard, you know, where we live currently, then, you know, feel free to do that. It's on the channel somewhere. Just says it's copper hanging out in the yard something along those lines it's a very 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 short video um, it was something that I did last minute honestly I wasn't expecting to even post it it was just we were outside messing around and I just decided to record it and share it hey there rabbit how are things going with you today you might get to live a little while not necessarily looking for food, but I can always use more. I would really love to find a couple of those, um, not necessarily advanced 
weapons parts, but I think they're just weapons parts to make a recurved bow. Love to have one of those things. Then food would never be an issue after that. Um, we could always hunt the wolves with food or for food with the recurved bow. Hey there, bear. How's it going? Um, not trying to annoy a bear right now, so we're going to head on over this direction away from the bear. Just kind of see what's over in this direction. Maybe there's something great over here. I have no idea. I really hate that it rains on days that I record and it seems to not rain on days that I'm not recording when I'm out just chopping wood or something. It's just a nice, beautiful day. Okay, so we are trying to grab some plant fiber, guys. We do need it. We don't need a ton of it. Nothing crazy, anyway. This is the noisiest storm I have ever been a part of. Um, we don't need a ton of plant fiber right now, but I do need a bunch of it for rope. So we're going to grab what we can anyway. Um, there is, uh, I think, silicone, silicone, silicone here. We're going to grab that. Um, let's just kind of hang out on this rock and let the ore spawn in and just see what we've got. I don't necessarily need the potassium, but we're going to grab it because it is nice for fertilizer. And, um, yeah, we can use it for that. But let's just kind of see what else we can find on this rock because, you know, we might be able to find something great. I mean, we need copper and iron and all of that. But some silicone or some something else would be lovely as well. What are you? More of the same. Okay, lovely. We're going to grab you for sure. We'll come back for the copper or the iron, whichever we left behind. We're going to come back for that if it's still there. It is iron. That's lovely enough. We don't mind. So, unfortunately, lithium. We have not found enough of it yet to make another solar panel. We have not found enough of it to make um, two circuit boards. That's the problem. We definitely need two circuit boards to make another solar panel for the base, which would be lovely if we could get another one of those done. Uh, but all in good timing, I guess. We'll try our best to get what we can get done. And hopefully we won't have too much of an issue with that. This storm is horrible guys it really is it is super noisy and i don't know if it's just supposed to be like ridiculously windy or whatever but it's definitely howling guys the wind is definitely howling today okay um i hope you all are staying cool guys we are struggling here with the heat um, today it's been 101 degrees on our front porch. We do have air conditioning, so we're doing okay. There are people that live around me that do not in this type of heat, and that is very, very sad. Um, I really, really do hope that they are doing well, that they're staying as cool as possible. So hopefully all of you guys watching have air conditioning and are doing very well if you live in a very warm climate like I do. I think the heat is, uh, for the most part, completely across the country at this point. I think everyone is dealing with some form of heat wave type thing here. Popper does not do well in the heat. He got extremely overheated on Saturday. Um, he didn't have a heat stroke or anything, but he was very, very warm. Fortunately, we have um, central air in the house now, in the new house. So we were able to cool off, you know, quite well as we needed to. Uh, we were, you know, doing some work at the house that my mom is building. They don't have central air yet. Um, the guys that are putting it in our house are going to be starting on theirs as soon as we are completely done on you know at our house with it so there's that you know they are in the process of getting it it's just not done yet you know i only wanted to go over to the the rock and the beach front where we built in season one unfortunately we have made it all the way over into the valley
you hear Copper up moving around, guys, he just woke up from a very long nap. I had a doctor's appointment today. Everything turned out very well. Um, and he stayed home again. So he has just been playing and playing with my brother who is off work this week on vacation. Um, it's a company-wide shutdown, guys, so, um, you know, he didn't really have a choice in the matter. But we're getting some work done today and this week, hopefully, on the house, which is nice. But Copper has been very, very active playing with, whew, playing with him. I don't know what I pressed space bar for. I didn't mean to jump the strawberry. I only meant to pick it. Copper's waiting on my husband to get home from work. He knows that it's the time that he normally does, which he'll be home in about half an hour, so that's lovely. And he's just waiting by the door, waiting on him to get home so that, you know, they can play and do all the things because he did just wake up from a super long nap. So I am still looking for locked crate, guys. I'm going to try to make my way over to a location that is known for locked crates. I don't know if we're going to make it over there and back today in time to do some work around the base. But hopefully we can. I'm loving all these strawberries today. That is just lovely. Before food spoilage, guys, we didn't have an issue with berries at all. We ended up with stacks and stacks and stacks of blueberries and strawberries and all of the apples and all that loveliness. I really enjoyed those days when there wasn't a food spoilage problem. Unfortunately, we have to deal with it now, but you know, it is what it is and we're managing it quite well now that we have a refrigerator. Very happy about that as well. I do want to get back down to the little outpost that we did build for one of the new ores. Um, I forget what it's called at the moment, but I do want to get back down there and disassemble that, take a solar panel as well as the mineral extractor down there and hopefully be able to grab some of the new ore from that area as well. If my voice sounds a bit weird, guys, I'm struggling with allergies. Um, very much so today. It just seems like I'm always struggling with allergies these days. I don't know if there's something. I didn't think anything was blooming this time of year, but maybe there is something blooming. I don't know. But it's really just whipping my tail today, guys. These allergies are horrible. I have the itchy, watery, burning eyes and, you know, the, the all the crud that comes along with allergies. So, it's lovely. If you live in a climate where allergies are not prominent, uh, my doctor said, you need to move to Florida because, you know, they don't have as much issue as we have here. Unfortunately, that's not an option, guys. Moving to Florida is not an option. I would not do well in the heat anyway. I love the warm weather, but I don't do well in the heat. Okay, so. I was looking for a locked crate over here. There is generally a great chance of finding one over in this area. Unfortunately, I'm not even seeing one over here. And we've been over here a couple of times looking around, and we've not found one lately. Okay, I'll let you just hang out down there by your loveliness and by yourself. I want this for sure. There's another bear over there. You can hang out with that one and be lovely together. You know. Hanging out, being lovely. Not eating me. That's all that matters. I want to live today. I do not want to die today. Okay, so... I love these new twigs on the ground. I am fairly certain that that is new. I have no idea, but I'm loving it. I don't know if I just didn't notice it in the past, if it's new, if it's a new ground texture. I don't know, but I'm loving it. We're just grabbing plant fiber. This is like the most boring loot run ever. He'll be home in a little bit, cops. He'll be home pretty quick. He's just looking out the door, waiting to see if he sees him.
Okay, so I'm not seeing a locked crate over here, which is not great, but it's okay. We'll continue hanging on to our lock pick, and we'll take it down with us when we go down to the other outpost when we get, you know, get a chance to go down there. If we have not found one by then, uh, but if we have, hopefully we can craft a new lock pick and take it with us when we go down there. There's always a great chance for a locked crate in the birch forest. Okay, so let's just sort of head back toward our base, guys, and we're just going to try to get back home. Um, seems like this storm is not going to let up today, which makes for bad content, honestly. So even if um, it's still kind of light outside when we get home, at that point, we'll probably just call it a day because, you know, the, the video quality during the storms is just horrible. And there's nothing really that I can do about the weather at all. I don't think that there's a way to turn off these storms when I'm recording because I would definitely give that a try guys if there was a way to do that I would definitely use that option um, just for recording guys when I wasn't recording I would you know turn the weather back on permanently or turn it on I wouldn't mind this storm so much if I wasn't trying to record at this point okay so we had a blueberry go bad which is not good on my part I really wasn't paying attention to that we have water, we have um, strawberries that we need to eat. Our food and stuff is not looking great. We don't have any protein on us. We do have some protein bars, but I would like to hang on to those just so we can, you know, finish saving or continue saving them for when we are able to get down into the cave so that we don't have to worry about cooking food as much down there. So we're just going to head toward our base, guys, and try to survive to get home. Hopefully we can avoid any run-ins with any crazy wild animals like bears and such. So we're definitely going to attempt that as well. Okay, I do see a couple of rabbits and chickens. I think that was, I thought actually this one was a rabbit, but it ended up being a chicken, which is okay. I don't mind. I'll harvest him for the piece of meat. I guess it would be a hen because, you know, they're, they lay eggs if you put them in an animal, in the animal housing. So I would assume that all of these are hens because I don't really know there really should be roosters in this game. I don't know what died over here, but I didn't have anything to do with it. And then we could only use the roosters for meat, and then the hen, you would have to get a hen to lay an egg in the animal housing. I think that would be neat and a nice little addition to the game. And I think that not all deer should be does in the game because they don't have any antlers. So I really think that those should be changed to bucks so that, you know, we could genuinely harvest their antlers for actual antlers. Because currently we don't see any antlers on these does, but we're still able to loot antlers from them. I don't think that makes a lot of sense. Um, I thought there might have been a piece of kelp just hanging out down there. If so, I would have definitely brought that back to the base with me because... We need kelp for um, antidotes and things such as that. I'm going to have a little look down here a little bit closer to the water because there is a good chance of finding a locked crate over by the stream that goes up by the base that we're building across currently. Um, there is definitely a chance of finding a locked crate there. So. Hey there, chicken. How are you? How's it going? I thought that was a piece of iron, but it was a silly fern again. I really don't like the ferns, guys. They really annoy me in this game. I know, cops. I know. He'll be home soon. Okay. So, let me just get back home, guys. And I am just going to in the day because this storm is not letting up at all it's very annoyingly hanging on i was hopeful for just a small shower today and then you know enough to fill up the um, plant bed 
but I'm going to go ahead and end this one here, guys. We're almost back to the base, and I'm just going to finish the day up because this storm has just been super, super noisy. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate all of your support on this channel and on this series as well. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you're looking forward to future episodes, and I can't wait to catch you guys in the next one. Until then, have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day.